Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at cumulative frequency curve, also known as OGIVE. This is our second video on this particular topic. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on statistics. So we have a problem here. Below are the heights in centimeters of 40 people in a social group. Find the median height graphically. Um, we have uh, the heights here as intervals and their respective frequencies. To find the median graphically, we know all the graphs in statistics. We cannot get median from histogram and the only graph that can give us median is cumulative frequency curve or OGIV. So we are going to draw the cumulative frequency curve of this distribution and from there we have our median from the graph. So we need two more columns. First we need the class boundary and from the class boundary we are only interested in the upper class boundary. From the lower limit here we can get the lower class boundary. From the upper limit we get the upper class boundary. And there is a number before this. This is 134. So the 134 plus this 135, we divide by 2, it gives us 134.5. So we have 134.5. That is the lower class boundary. Then for the upper class boundary, 144 plus 145, we divide the sum by 2, it gives 144.5. This 144.5 is automatically the lower class boundary of the next class. And here 154 plus 155, dividing the sum by 2, we have it as 154.5. The 154.5 is automatically the lower class boundary for the next class. And here 164 plus 165, dividing the sum by 2, we have it as 164.5 and the same way the 164.5 becomes the lower class boundary for the next class and then the upper class boundary is 174 plus 175 divided by 2 that gives 174.5 please be informed that we are not subtracting it means 134.5 to 144.5, 144.5 to 154.5, and so on. It is not subtraction. Please be informed. Then here, the lower class boundary automatically is 174.5. Here will give us 184.5. And this 184.5 is the lower class boundary here. And the upper class boundary is 194.5. We have gotten the class boundary. So the next column is the column for cumulative frequency. So as the name implies, we have to get the cumulative of the frequency. So it is expected the class before this is 0. So that 0 plus 4 gives 4. Then this 4 plus 5 gives 9. This 9 plus 8 gives 17. 17 plus 14 gives 31. Then 31 plus 6 gives 37. 37 plus 3 gives 40. And if you add all this, you are going to have 40. And for your information, we have been informed from the beginning that the population is 40. So, and your last cumulative frequency must always be the total population. So this is what we are going to use to draw our graph. We are only interested in the last two columns. And in the second to the last column, we are interested in only the upper class boundary. So we shift the table to accommodate our graph. So we have our graph here. Um, the calibration is we get the upper class boundary axis and the cumulative frequency axis. So we have the origin here. Here it is expected 
that this is an upper class boundary of the previous class and the cumulative frequency is assumed to be zero. So we register 134.5 here so that it can be connected. Then the next upper class boundary is 144.5, 154.5, 164.5, 174.5, 184.5, and finally 194.5. Here we just calibrate and make sure we have 40. So this is going to be 10, 20, 30, 40. This is the upper class boundary, while this is the cumulative frequency. So we know that ideally they're supposed to be starting from the origin since there's no such thing as the data is not starting from the origin we place zigzag here to accommodate all the previous uh, entries now we go for the plotting of the point so um, we said the upper class boundary here has zero we mark zero there this is 144.5 and the cumulative frequency is 4. We count 1, 2, 3, 4. We mark it there. 154.5. The cumulative frequency is 9, which is a line away from 10. We mark it there. The next one is 17. 3 away from 20. 1, 2, 3. We mark it here. 174.5 is 31. This is a line away from 30. That's the point. 184.5 is 37. 3 away from 40. We have it there. And the last one is 40. We have it here. We then join the points. Um, you have the option of joining the point with French cuff. Okay. Or free hand. So we join. So that's it here. We've graphed the distribution. The next thing is to find the median height from the graph. Um, for your information, since they are 40, dividing it by 2, we have 20, which is going to be in the median. So we come to 20 on the cumulative frequency, then draw a line from 20 to touch the curve. Where it touches the curve, draw a line down to the upper class boundary axis. Then we read. If you look at this now, this is um from here to this we have 10 lines and uh, 10 units which means every line is one unit this thick line is 164.5 the next line is going to be 165.5 166.5 and since it is in the middle of the 166.5 and 167.5 we are going to take it as 167 so the median is 167 centimeters. And that's all for the solution of this problem. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Also, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until we come your way again, goodbye.